here's one thing I like about this kid Bookberger. He's a tough boy. He takes a real shot there, but he doesn't get up and retaliate. He goes on with his business. A good characteristic for any hockey player. Over skating the puck. Cronin knocked it down at the blue line, and he was knocked to the ice by Messier. The two players collide in on the boards. Bookberger comes in to help. So does Donnelly. And they freeze the puck on the boards. The linesmen get the sign to get in there quickly. It's been a rather calm game so far, though. Well, uh, not calm now. <laughs> Buckberger and Cronin are going. I think it's Cronin. Or Don, excuse me. Buckberger and Don. This was one of the period for this Edmonton so-called fourth line, Graves, Brown, Bookberger. They've been a force in the last few games for the Oilers. They have not seen much action tonight, and this shift is going to be cut short. So Dvorsky will no doubt beat out major penalties. There's Bookberger getting the word. Look at the cut on Donnelly. Kelly Bookberger, you can see in a short fight, he damaged his hand. He's giving it the car wash now. And he cut himself either on the head or the helmet of Donnelly, who had to go to the Winnipeg dressing room because he was cut over the eye. So one of the dangers of winning a fight, now that so many players wear helmets, is just that. Bookberger and Donnelly, five minutes apiece for fighting. Our Chuck is up in front of the net, and the pass comes out front. Here's a good body check by McDermott on Smith. Smith sees he's caught in the trap and he can't get out. And that's two fair-sized boys landing on the ice. And Lowe takes over for Edmonton. Lowe through the middle, a good play. This is taken out on a break, going in, scores! A beautiful pass, and Tika ties the game. He's Avish against Howard Chuck on the draw. Wins it. Quick shot. That hit Essenza in the mask, I think, and shook him up. He's very slow getting back up. We have to see if he's okay. I think he's all right. He shakes it off. This developed after the play as the Oilers were a little enthusiastic to get dig the puck out of the equipment of Essenza. He was hit right in the mask on a short shot by Peter Klima. It did stun him for a second or two as he was slow to get up. But he seems to be all right now. Howard Chuck giving Klima a verbal blast. Again, rolls one up into the corner. Muni is going to be back there first. Now low. Again, turning scrap started in the corner over there. Gord Donnelly for Winnipeg. I think it's Bookberger again. It's his line mates that are out there. Now, Bookberger's got a hope that he doesn't connect with the right hand because I'm sure his hand is very painful. And Gord Donnelly, they've already gone once and both were cut. Look at Donnelly's face. The left eye, he was cut under and over the left eye in the first fight. Two tough birds. Well, let's have a look how the second match of the evening between Bookberger and Donnelly started right in the right upper corner of your screen. Looked in, in that shot like Donnelly started it. Taken and ripped it off the boards. Back of the net. Stopped by Matt. Stop. He whipped it out in time. McDermott shooting it in. Bradford stepping out of the net. It's cleared back, and Anderson gets the puck up to the line. Simpson and Messier are going after it. Simpson was nailed before he could pick it up. Anderson gets set to make a play. Muni back. That'll be icing against Winnipeg with 44 seconds left in the Randy Gregg penalty and a minute and 21 seconds left in the third period. 3-2, to two, Winnipeg. Bradford racing for the bench. Messi in. Shot glanced off the arm of Essenza. <laughs> Hard hit in the corner. McDermott going down rather heavily. Getting up rather slowly. Mark Messier 
clotheslined him as McDermott was roaring by him to go to the net. Now watch for the penalty here. 11 on 23 in white. McDermott goes to the corner to get the puck. And Messier just hooks him under the chin. And McDermott was lucky he didn't hurt himself. game and most of the time most of the players stayed well under control and it would be a shame that it ended in one of these scenes when it was such a well played game Head note for the Oilers and a real nice one for the Jets Murdoch's out there trying to get his boys off Muckler's out there talking to Dale Howard <laughs> and you wonder what he's talking to Dale about it doesn't look like a friendly chat wishing each other happy new year a coach right out in the middle here. I think it'd be a good idea if the Edmonton Oilers got Muckler out of there. And yeah, that's what Murdoch's trying to do. And it's all over now. The Jets win it, and there's no trouble at the end of the game. In just a moment, our Molson Cup three-star selection.